Hey guys, welcome back to episode 53, going chest and back today, starting off with supinated palms up grip for penlay rows, got around like 10 there I think, and I'm doing 190 pounds. Supinated grip, a lot easier for me than the other grip, I'm able to hold on to the bar a little longer, and uh, I can't wait to get my wrist wraps on... Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Because then I'll be able to go to two plates on this workout. And, you know, it'll just be great. Be really good. But after this, doing dumbbell incline. You know the drill. Dumbbell incline. Um, after that, I'm going to do pull-ups. Start off weighted and then go to body weight. See uh, how good that feels. Haven't done those in a while. After that, doing flat barbell bench press. And then after that, going to finish back with behind the neck lap pull downs and going to finish chest with weighted dips, of course. And that'll probably be the workout. If I do this quick, I'll do a set of pullovers. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Hell yeah, I think that was eight. All right, so I kind of expected to have that PR today. I'm not really surprised by it. What I want to do now is get seven, maybe eight on this second set. And if I can get seven or more or eight, that'll be it for a dumbbell incline today. Cause I did three sets last time with 95. I think the whole time I didn't drop the third set at all. So yeah, but that's if I get seven, maybe eight again. I'm feeling good about this. I might might even get eight again. Might be pretty good. But if I don't, if I can't even get seven, I only get six, drop to 90 pounds and then just do as many as I can. <sighs> Okay, so dumbbell incline was 
it was a success. I mean, I, I think since like today was my first time hitting eight for even in one set, I think it was a little too much to ask for getting two by eight, but I was pretty darn close there. I don't know if you guys paid attention to like how high I got until my back started kind of taking me the whole way, so I just stopped, but very close. And uh, yeah, big PR today, decided to finish after two sets, and now I'm going weighted dips with 35 pound plate, which my body weight's like 196 right now, I would say. Um, what is that? 231 pounds, 230, 231 pounds. And I just got seven there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same weight again. And then I'll probably drop because I don't think I'll be able to get over six after that. All right, I got eight there with 25 pounds. All right, going body weight for the fourth and final set. I gotta see how many I can get here. I lost count. Alrighty, so doing flat bench today and not going up to 245. I'm only keeping 225 on the bar and I'm gonna slow the pace down quite a bit and just kind of go slow and steady on this, okay? Just gonna control it. Not really looking for reps here. I'm looking more for just slow controlled muscle ex exhaustion that's pretty much what i'm going for just to switch things up because i feel like i've been doing like 245 too much for only like five six reps so i want to do something that get a little higher reps just kind of shock the muscle as uh as arnold would say <laughs> let's get into it Close one. Thank God for safeties. Yeah, failed eight there, which is funny because if I went at my normal pace, probably would have got like 10 reps there. So it's very, very uh, beneficial sometimes to slow your pace down.
something very interesting just happened. I actually got more reps on that second set than the first set, which was, I don't know, very strange. But I, I think it's because I was going very slow, not only on my descends the first set, but also very slow on my, whatever the opposite of a uh, descend is, ascend, or I don't fucking know. Positive, negative, that's what people call it sometimes. But um, second set was going a little quicker. You guys probably saw it trying to be very explosive on the way up. Um, but yeah, that's probably why I got an extra rep. But doing behind the neck lat pull down here. And today, today's a very lat dominant back workout. If you couldn't already tell, had the pull-ups in there and now have this. And the goal behind this right now, doing this be, doing this after pull-ups, uh, is just to get more of a range of motion just using my lats. Pull-ups, especially when you're in weighted and stuff, shoulders sometimes take over and even traps take over a little bit. So just trying to isolate it a little more. That 45 plate just whacked me in the ankle. <sighs> that reminds me of like when I was a kid and I was riding on a scooter and it would like swivel around when you let go, just smash you right in the ankle. It's like the same thing. But adding a five here, I'm gonna see how many I can get. Usually with the 55 attached to my weight, my waist, usually get around between eight to 10 reps, so. Probably gonna be a little lower here. Let's see. Fuck. All right, so I got eight.
Just gonna crank out one set of abs here. Be around like 15, 20 reps. Just cause I haven't hit him in a while. And you know, don't want him to get too rusty. Fifteen it is. Alrighty. Ready to get some posing in. Let me take this fucking tank top off. Hit abs. Can still see them. Nothing bad at all. It's amazing to see the difference when you put on some you know some fat when you're like lean bulking or whatever compared to when you're super lean. It's insane because you, the definition that I have right here when I'm like really, really lean between 10 and 12% body fat is nuts. And now it's like, you can barely see it. And this is, this is pretty good lighting. So let's get some back first. Chest. Let's go, uh, whatever this pose is called. Back stuff. <sighs> that was a pretty good workout. Hit a few PRs. Not bad at all. Pretty happy with it. But yeah, I guess that's it, guys. I will see you tomorrow for shoulders and arms.